Greetings, 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 greetings to my warriors, to my subscribers, to my TGs, to my family, and my friends. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Happy self-care, self-love, secret Sunday, or whatever day these messages touches up with you. Today is the day of Obatala, or whatever Loa or Lisa Jesse that you rock with. I say, I say. A lot of cycles are closing out, specifically Virgo. Virgo came in so nice, so cool, so chill, so calm, and I don't know who did what to Virgo, but apologize. <laughs> Oh, it was so intense that I had to shut it down. I was over peopling. I had given all that I could give. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, oh, mm -mm. I need a break. I need to take a day for me, just me, to be with just me. And Friday was that day. And I cleaned my home. That's the way that I like to engage with uh pumping up my vibration like I'm already working within I'm on autopilot as I'm cleaning you know what I'm saying so I get the time to just focus and think about me and how I'm feeling and what's going on in my life and how is it affecting those that I love and care about that are directly um, connected to me and I just opened up all my windows let all that mess go out inviting that new fresh air to come in and blue loves a new fresh air baby listen blue is my house i say i say she loves some fresh air and you know it was just very therapeutic went to the beach today uh because i had to pour back into me i say and the way that i love to do that is to go to the park be near water so milton went and fished and i just hung out by the water I gave my gratitude, I grounded myself, I put my feet in the water, I grounded with the sun, I grounded by taking my shoes off and just being in the grass, hands up, I shay, I shay, just giving my gratitude and my thanks. No matter what happened last week, baby, that cycle is over and I'm inviting a new one in and I'm encouraging uh, the energies and the atmosphere to be kind. Baby, listen, be kind. Let me breathe. <laughs> and what better way to do that than to acknowledge that Libra is on her way. Air sign. Ashe, Ashe. Even though she's feminine and full of love and softness and, you know, just being sensual and sexy and funny, totally down to earth. And yet a masculine sign. Ashe, don't forget, Venus likes to shake things up. She don't like to be bored. <laughs> That's Libra all the way. They don't like to be bored, baby. They don't like to be bored. Please don't bore them. They be like, Lucky, <laughs> you up. <laughs> Baby, listen, I'm going to go ahead and get these cards out. When I get to the tarot, I'm going to take three shadow cards and then I'll do the three higher vibrations. I say, so this is a message to boost your vibration. If you need words of encouragement, this one is for you. If you need the truth, this one is for you. If you need somebody to just give it to you how it's coming, baby, listen, this is for you. I say, I say, grab your pen, grab your peg, get your libations, create a mood, create a vibe, and let's get into it. See what's popping with the overalls. Let's see what's popping with the over. Oh, hold on. With the overalls, baby. Gaia. Message coming from Gaia. Message coming from Mother Earth, baby. And Gaia is encouraging you to shine on. Shine bright like a diamond. You're going through a change, a transformation, uh, and it looks as if you've it looks as if you've gone through a change because this butterfly is big, bold, and brave, baby. Listen, it has spread its wings and it's ready to fly away. If you find that um, butterflies land on you, and I know that we're already on our way out, how to the ever 
it's still warm in certain places so you may see it and let that be a thing like that be like a rarity a true message coming from Gaia a true message coming from Mother Earth encouraging you to shine on don't dim your light for anyone Ashe there are things that you're bringing into the physical keep them protected keep your energy high full of love peace like dopeness and righteousness so I'm also getting a message that guy is coming through to make something shake. I say something you've been waiting for, something that you've wanted for a long time. I've been encouraging y'all. The spirits have been encouraging y'all. The sin have been coming through, encouraging you to not give up. Do not walk away. Hopefully, you one of my warriors. You've been sticking to the path. Stay on the path. Listen, the golden child, come through, come through. Uh, Gaia wants you to know uh, that... Because you're being told that something good is coming your way and to hang tight, hang on, see the core, see it through, Ashe, you're also getting a message to not count your eggs before they hatch, Ashe. Just be grateful that you have eggs, i.e. Bobo, Ashe. This is also a fertile time coming through, so if you're not looking to um, be one with child, <laughs> then you may want to make sure you're taking extra precaution. That's probably why I was seeing a protection thing going on. Ashe, Ashe. But coming out of your cocoon, spreading your wings, flying, something is coming towards you. Ashe, be patient. And when it comes, you'll know. Like, it's going to be so bright and in your face, you can't miss it. You've been waiting for this. This is what you want. And Gaia says, yes, baby, it's coming through. Ashe, Ashe. Let's go ahead and see what else um, is popping. Let's get a good shuffle. Yo, they've been popping. Uh-uh. Uranus is still in retrograde. So is Pluto. And baby, listen, if you are a Scorpio in a relationship with an Aquarius and vice versa and or Ashe, Ashe, whew, give each other grace. Okay, let's see what's popping. Shape. Listen, I promise you. Oya is coming through. Oya rocks with autumn. Way to come through. Oya. Yansa. Oya. For those that don't know why I'm excited, Oya is a shapeshifter. So any Lawal Odi Shadiati did you rock with that is a shapeshifter? Baby, they coming through. I was thinking about her earlier today. Just when I saw Shapeshifter come through. It reminded me, so them R.E.s I just was talking about, Uranus and Pluto is in retrograde. I say time to reflect, re-strategize, reorganize. I say reevaluate, reanalyze. I say whatever R.E. that you are working through. I say remembering. I.E. Bobo. It says transform and unveil your gifts. They are still talking about these gifts. Oh, for some. The thing that you've been wanting spiritually is coming through your transformation. Shapeshifter, transform, butterfly was talking about coming out of the cocoon, baby. I say, I say. So, yes, this is also confirmation. Um, oh, I was talking about Scorpio. Scorpios go through three phases. The scorpion, the eagle, and then the phoenix. So, still, major transformation is happening. Ashe, some of you have really been tapping into uh, the inner workings of you, your psyche. Ashe, from that comes wisdom, from that comes sight, from that comes clairvoyance, clairaudience. How it is that you rock with any of the clairs, baby, any and all of the clairs while we limiting ourselves? I don't know. So, yes. Your gifts, um, they always said that that would be one of the first things that will be coming through for you. So, uh, Pisces in full moon energy, dreams, please pay attention to your dreams. Don't forget to rock with Rosemary uh, to help you with your dreams. Ashe, transform and unveil your gift. So, for some, and I'm just going to put it out there. I ain't even going to sit up and try to make it sound nice and sweet. I'm going to give it to you how it is. In order for you to get your gift, this change must take place. Whatever change that you are going through, whatever lesson you need to learn, whatever uh, shadow work, whatever dark night of the soul, whatever rebirth, R-E, uh, whatever you want to label it as, however you want to connect with it, it's from going through that that you'll unveil your gifts. 
Ashe, this is why they say don't give up. This hurdle may be a big one. This hurdle may be the last one. You don't know until you deal with that hurdle. Please don't give up. Ashe, Ashe. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and get that squared away. Ashe. And once again with the tarot, I'm going to be taking the three cards at the bottom. Oh, but this one definitely wanted to come through. So we're going to take it. I should. Let's go ahead and take a look. Mmm. We have the nine of swords out here. So this is a message of like your tribe is trying to come through with messages and maybe you've been ignoring them maybe you haven't been able to remember them ashe please make sure you keep your journal pen pad pencil however it is that you rock handy very close nearby as soon as you get up try to remember you know even before you open up your eyes like this could be a spiritual practice of trying to retain your dreams a lot of messages come through um as we are awakening Ashe, as our spirit enters our body, messages are automatically coming in. As the spirit comes in, so do those messages. Whatever dreams you're dreaming right before you wake up, I feel like pay attention to those. If you can remember something from one of the earlier dreams, focus in on that. Ashe, Ashe. Dreams also may tend to get more, what oh, I just heard, involved. <laughs> it's, it's turning into nightmares. Ashe, for me, when I have a nightmare, it's like I've been overlooking or forgetting my dreams and now they're becoming extreme. So I don't forget. When we have nightmares, we definitely don't forget those. Ashe, Ashe. So whatever has been taunting you and haunting your mind, uh, messages may be coming through or maybe playing out in your dreams. You may have to face your fear or transform through a dream. Ashe, Ashe. And let's just be clear. Take this to your altar, throw it in the trash, baby. Dreams are alternate universes, alternate realms. This is the spiritual realm. Ashe, Ashe. All right, now let me do oh, Now let me do a shuffle and get to the shadows. I'm trying to tell you, they popping. Last one. All right, we're going to take those two. Yes. This one first. Roger that. Dreams. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is Pisces energy coming through. Or Cancer or Scorpio energy. I say, I say, water energy is coming through. We have seahorses. So this could be in regards to a relationship. Maybe you're thinking that you'll never find uh, your mate and they're telling you to hold on because that energy is definitely coming through Ashe the question is will you recognize it when you see it and this is probably why they're encouraging you to transform see things from a different perspective let go of an old way of an old thought of an old feeling of an old relationship let it go you have to accept your role in it or not. But it's being encouraged to really dig deep into your emotions. This is a beautiful energy that's going to come through. But if you stay focused on all the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you may just miss it. Ashe. So the messages that are coming through your dreams is getting really in your face. Maybe you're sworn off love. Love is coming. Maybe you've sworn off um, whatever it is that you were waiting for and is being told again that yes, it is coming and it's come through in abundance. Ashe, Ashe. I feel like um, a change of the heart. Ashe, you've been hoping and praying and, and wishing and asking for your mate, someone to love you, respect you, honor you, not lie to you, not cheat on you. You've been asking for those things. And it may be that you need to change your perspective, change your outlook, change your view on expectations. Ashe, I heard how have the expectations, but leave room for Mother Earth, Divine, the universe, your ancestors, your spiritual tribe, however it is that you rock to do their thing. Ashe, Ashe, 
We have wolf here. Trust your gut. Trust your instincts. These red flags that you may have been going through in life, and it doesn't have to be in regards to a relationship. I mean, like any red flag. We overlook so many red flags. Is not just about love. Ashe, let that be a message. Whatever red flag that you've been ignoring, the beautiful part about that is you know them. Pick up on the energies and the vibrations. When something makes you feel a certain type of way and you start thinking about a past situation or you start dreaming about a past situation, that is the message. How did you grow from that? What did you do during that time that you could use to your benefit or change and do something differently? Now, we're given an opportunity to close out these cycles on a high note. Ashe? Ashe, let me move these cards so we can get this last one up out of here. Hi, you boo boo. No, we definitely won't have to move these over. We're going to put you smack dab in the middle. We'll do that. Ashe, Ashe. And then here we're coming through with Earth Energy and we have a spider. So, being trapped in your own head and it's causing you not to see the beauty that's coming that's already here the abundance the joy the success that has already happened ashe ashe wherever you are in that wheel of fortune that cycle of life aye bobo ashe yo and then we have the five um of coins what's the plan it looks as if that um there could be an opportunity there's always an opportunity um, for growth and being patient is vital the spider goes through all of this creating its web and then it waits in the shadows behind the scene patiently it's going to depend on how you view things yes the five of coins is about um, hardships and strife but there's always an opportunity um, for success you just have to be patient just because it's perfect for you doesn't mean that it's going to automatically understand every little nuance about you. Ashe? This is like two hearts beating as one. And I think we get caught up on the, the one. No, there are two hearts beating as one. In sync. That takes time. Ashe, that takes dedication. That takes commitment. That takes patience. That takes compassion. That takes accountability. Ashe, Ashe. After the five of coins come the six of coins. That's Gaia coming through. That's your ancestors coming through. That's your spiritual tribes coming through. That's you coming through for you. Your hard work, your commitment, your dedication, your patience, your due diligence, your blood, your sweat, your tears. Ashe. The way you thought about this plan and, and really stuck with it and saw it through, no matter how scary it was. Keep trusting yourself. Ashe, Ashe. Let's go ahead and get the as above. Because the soul below was coming through with there may be a, a loss of some sort. You may be feeling... Um, like you won't get this promotion or love will never come. There are too many people going up for the same position. Baby, listen, don't take yourself out the game before it even got started. You're qualified. We'll start there. Heart of Swords. I'm trying to tell you, you're qualified. Black Panther. If you're seeing black and white feathers, gray feathers, any form of feather, but especially like a, a black and white one, Ashe, messages are coming through to remind you that, yes, you are um, full of a lot of love and you may have a soft heart and it may want to reach out to everyone and everybody, just wanting good for everyone and everybody. Remember, you're no fool. Think this through. If someone is trying to get you caught up in their web, someone may be lying to you, a web of lies. Don't allow people to play mental warfare. The heart of sword, she's very analytical. So you may be a, a mental creature. Ashe, everything goes through the mind. And you may be worrying, overthinking, 
Keep your lines of communication clear with yourself and in turn others, and they look like butterflies. What did I say? A change of the heart. Your heart is changing. This could just be about your hopes and dreams. But then your dreams, all up in your face, checking you, telling all the business. So there could be something coming up where there'll be nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You're going to have to address it. And just know that with the way your mind works, being solution driven is very beneficial for you. Ease up on yourself. I say. Six of swords. Moving on. Hmm. I just heard you have to be true to you. I say. If you're losing family and friends. Because you're choosing you, because you're deciding to step out into the light and own who you are and what you're about. Mm, child, because it's a, it's a hard journey. It's like it's a, it's a long journey. Speak your truth, Ashe. Be aware of the energies and the vibrations. Pay attention to body language, Ashe. The words they're using, how they're using them, how they look as they're using them. Pay attention. Guy is here to shake it up, baby. She gonna make something shake. Stay on your journey. It, it may be hard. People are trying to suck people into things that they ain't got nothing to do with. Mm. And then look, the, the star. We're going to take all of these. The star is here. Oh, baby. At the end of all of this, celebratory moment. Oshun is over this. Ursley Dontour is over this. I heard Lilith, Ashe, dark energies, night energies, the stars, you know, they pop at night, Ashe. This is also Aquarius energy coming through, being hopeful, everything coming into alignment, allowing divine Gaia, the star, look up, stay hopeful. Here we have Libra, Libra's out here with the three of swords, Ashe. Like I said, this loss, it may be very painful. You make this transformation, it's going to cause you to lose people, places, and things. But there's so much beauty that's coming through. It's just hard. It's hard and it's scary walking away from the known, no matter how bad it is, to take a journey into the unknown, being hopeful that what you want really is on that other side. They said going through the hardship, going through the pain, going through is what brings you your gift. So, <laughs> baby, they're going to make you work for it. Ashe, they're going to make something shake, but you definitely going to have to work for it. <laughs>